Hey people, what is going on? So I am stoked about this. I was looking for a outdoor prep station and I was looking at some rolling stainless steel tables and then it dawned on me, I have this Yukon nine drawer bench, rolling workbench that's sitting out in my garage, not really being used. So I figured, what the heck? Figure it, see if I'd uh, give it a shot, put some stuff in it, see how it looks. And I think this is now my new outdoor setup. Now, one thing to note is there is a specific warning on this is to not to use it for food prep. But I'm going to assume that's because of the uh, wood table that's up on top or the wood counter. And that's probably because it's not uh, food safe, I guess, if you want to say food safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up sanding that down and hitting it with some mineral oil to... Uh, be able to utilize that as a cutting board but I'm just gonna do a quick walk through this give you guys a look maybe see what you think so starting over here on this side <clears throat> got a tray that was a screwdriver parts tray which now is going to be my basically my side rack spice rack <clears throat> on the back here We've got a uh, use for this tray right here is used for spray spray bottles spray cans which is now going to be utilized by water bottles spray bottles and uh, holding my beer so moving on on this side got a nitrile or latex glove holder holds a uh, hundred a box of a hundred which are gonna come in handy. And then I'm gonna use this surface here. Now if I get in, if I get into uh, collecting or s swapping stickers or whatever else, it's gonna be basically displayed on this side. So there's that side. Moving over here, I added a magnetic paper towel holder and I also added a five outlet magnetic power strip, which has two USB ports as well. This is for when I'm out cooking, if I wanna bring the, maybe my air fryer out here and operate it where I can be in close proximity to it, then I can just plug it into that. Plus my smoker's electric, so I'll be utilizing some of that as well. And moving on over to this side is where we got the business end. <clears throat> so most of the drawers have got stuff in it, but there's a couple drawers that are still empty, so it's still a work in progress. But the top drawer is gonna have basically all of my grilling needs and what have you. <clears throat> These are just some of the kitchen knives that I picked up probably like through Costco or Sam's over the years. A little spread knife. This is a new addition back here. That's the Victorinox 12 inch meat slicing knife, which I've already used once and it's, it's a sweet knife. It really does what it needs to do. And uh, easy to clean up. We went on over here, got a couple grill presses. I've got a little butane torch to start my charcoal a little easier burger press, some uh, dough, dough knives, my main two spatulas, There's a little fish turner in there which I'll use for eggs and things of that nature. So that's the top business end. <clears throat> Down here I've got a couple temperature, temperature gauges, I have uh, infrared temperature gauge and then this right here is my black stone that is a red infrared and also a meat probe and then I've got a uh, screwdriver in there because I always seem to need a screwdriver now and again some meat paws some gloves and some of the parchment paper that I use for the uh, smash burgers and nothing there inside here just a couple of strainers again some more gloves down here so I've got some 
breakfast preparation things. Got some egg rings, uh, batter dispensers, some water bottles. The orange cap thing that you're seeing right there is a bread butter. You put that on your grill, put some butter in it, and then you run the bread over it to butter the bread before you just grill it. And then, of course, my grease uh, disposable grease trap pan liners. And this right here is the motor to my rotisserie, which I got a video coming up on the rotisserie here pretty soon, too. So basically my cleaning drawer, got extra paper towels, some uh, food service cleaning towels and scrapers and whatnot in the bottom. A small growth stone also. And nothing in that one. And this one, it just has my jalapeno pepper rack, a little meat turning hook, and one of the first spatulas that I purchased when I started grilling. Um, I love that spatula, it's big, thick, it uh, doesn't give too much. And here I have two half sheets and two quarter sheet pans, always seem to need them. So we got that there. And this is the part where I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically sand this down probably tomorrow and then let me get this out of the way. And then, uh, get some mineral oil or some cutting board oil and cover it so I can use it as a flat cutting surface. So the cart itself is 46 inches long, nine drawer. The casters are heavy duty. Those are not going to give out anytime soon, especially since there's basically hardly any weight under it. But yeah, so that's my outdoor prep station. So if you guys like what you see, help me out a little bit, be great. Give me a like, so share, and subscribe. That'd be awesome. And I've got more videos coming up using lice and some of my other cooking implements back here. Some more Blackstone stuff. My uh, grill, the rotisserie, I've almost got completely modified. And I'll be uh, doing probably a couple rotisserie chickens here in the next day or two. So till then, talk to you guys next time.